I don't think you guys know, but not to know Ty Ty has been going the fuck off. Even though I haven't been reviewing it, these chapters have been going the fuck off. Like the flying fuck. <sighs> like, oh my god, this is just just the the epicness that has been the not to know ties. I I'm so fucking ready for the season to finally come out. Hopefully, I think it's gonna be coming out like next season or the season after next. But I am so fucking ready. I'm so ready to see this shit animated because they, like I said, they've been going the fuck off. And like in this chapter, because we saw like recently when uh. Bon uh, was trying to save um, Elaine. I could not remember her name. When Bon was trying to save Elaine, and uh, from Mer is like Marisilica. Marisilica. I'm gonna call her Mara. When he tried to save her from Mara because she was the one who was possessing all these dead people and bringing them back to life to pretty much kill the people that they had unresolved issues with. And uh, she made Elaine believe that, like, she was still in love with Bond, but any person who, any other person besides Bond was evil to her. And she tried to kill Jericho and all that good stuff, but Bond was able to stop her. And then, uh, she finally stopped fighting then bond like got his soul sucked like literally got his soul sucked out of him and it was about to be eaten by garan but it was so fucking awesome like i teared up at the end of this at the end of that chapter zavigo came like his spirit came and saved bond he was like um i'm going to replace your spirit um let them eat my spirit so you can keep on living so Zavigo, like they did like the old switcheroo, like as Goran reached for Zavigo's spirit, Bond passed him and went behind him. So Bond could actually go back inside of his body, which was how he did live. Cause I was like, how, there's no fucking possible way that Bond can just die. There's not, there's not a thing. So uh, after that, uh, Bond like passed out because he had used up all his power because he did his soul suck, like his power sucking on um, Garan, but Garan is so freaking powerful that Bond's body wasn't able to hold up against the strain. So Jericho had to carry them away and they almost got obliterated by some rocks that Garan was like punting. But they did finally make it to this cave that had a bar in it. And there was an old guy with a beard or, you know, mustache or whatever. And it seemed like Bond knew who he was. So they hid in the cellar because uh, Garan and Mara were coming. And then as soon as um, Garan and Mara got there, they were talking to the dude in the bar and they started like drinking his alcohol and shit and they got drunk as fuck, like drunk as fuck. And um, then they like uh, Garan challenged the guy to a like a death match. And it was like, they're gonna go back and forth and we're gonna hit, we're gonna get one hit on each other and whoever dies loses. And if you lose, if you lose, then we get to kill the three people in the back room, which was Jericho, Elaine, and Bond. And if dude won, then they would let them all live. So they started and Garan just patted dude on the back and he was like cratered in the ground. So Garan and uh, Mara continued drinking for whatever reason and then guy got up and he because um garan reached for a battle axe that was hanging on the wall behind the bar and he was like this is really heavy if because of the weight of the head the um the handle should be a lot longer blah 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 and this he was like it's too short to be a two-handed battle axe and guy stood up he was muscular as Fuck! Like, it was, like, he ripped all of his clothes off. It was, he's actually pretty fucking sexy. Like, I have a thing for dudes with mustaches and beards, and he could get it. So, um, so he was like, uh, I am actually a human, because Garan said that he can't be human because he is so fucking strong. But, uh, he was like, I am actually human. I'm just, like, the pinnacle of my uh, species and it turned out that it was Escanor. I'm so fucking happy because I think that is literally the last of the seven sins because there's Meliodas, Bon, Dan, King, uh, Merlin, Escanor, 
So who's the seventh one? I cannot remember. This is really sad. Oh, uh, how could I forget him? The puppet. What is his name? Oh my God, Galther. I don't know why I could not remember his name to save my life. So yeah, it's Meliodas, King, Deanne, Galther, Merlin, Bon, and Escanor. And Escanor is the last of the seven sins. I mean, they still have to find Deanne because Deanne just went fucking missing. Um, but Escanor was the last of the seven sins to be that needed to be found, and it looks like he is about to turn the fuck up and fuck Garan and Mera up because they threatened his fellow sin. So, and the fact that they can freely move around the kingdom because it was proven that they had nothing to do with the former king being murdered, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Eskimo is about to turn the fuck up. I can't wait to see what the fuck happens. Um, I'm... No. Meliodas is wrath. So, I don't know what... Let me think. Because, uh... Bon is greed. Meliodas is wrath. Deanne is the serpent sin... Of, I think it's Lust, I believe is Deanne's. Um, no, Gouther is Lust. Deanne is Envy. Um, King, I believe, is Gluttony. And so that would leave, hmm. I don't know what he, what his last, what his sin is, but... I'm going to look that up and I'll try to put it down below because that's really going to bother me now. But yeah, <laughs> this, this chapter went the fuck off and I really can't wait to see what happens in the next chapter. <laughs> I'm so fucking excited. It's going to go the fuck off. I can't wait to see what happens, what he's going to do to Garan because Meliodas said, I think he said that Eskinor is like the second strongest person in their group. So yeah, I think... Eskinor is going to give them a run for their money. So yeah, I would love to hear how you guys felt about this chapter. How do you feel about the way things turn out? What do you think is going to happen? I think that Eskinor is going to tear their shit up. He's going to tear them a new one. So yeah, so as always, please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. It helps me a whole lot. And this is Super Cash Work. Saying adios.